Hey everybody, as we start off this fall of virtual Sunday school, I wanted to take a minute and just say hello and start with a little bit like what our assembly would be with. You'll hear a dripping in the background. It's been raining outside and there's a drip coming off of the gutter. It's very rhythmical. Uh, this week we're looking at the Good Samaritan, Who is My Neighbor? And if you look on the Southminster website, you'll see that the story, we have the godly play story told by Miss Maddie. And if you've ever listened to Miss Maddie tell stories, it's awesome. So I take a listen to it. And below it, you'll find a link for a book called Who is My Neighbor? Like one another, very that it talks about the blues and the yellows. Careful of the yellows. We are better than they are. And they basically, the blues don't like the yellows, and the yellows don't like the blues. If you have Dr. Seuss, uh, the Sneetches, and this is another story that goes along with the Good Samaritan. And it's always that reminder of who is our neighbor, and that's the question that the lawyer asks Jesus. And then Jesus tells the parable of the Good Samaritan. And it's a, it's a good reminder, I think, especially right now, as we are in a midst and our country has been gripped by a lot of tension over race. And it's a good reminder that all the people we encounter are our neighbors. People who live around us, people who are in our classes at schools, our friends, but also people that we don't know. Everybody's our neighbor. And so I think about like wearing a mask. That's been a big deal lately and people don't want to wear masks. And part of being a good neighbor is looking out for one another. And so I wear a mask to protect you and you wear a mask to protect me. And that's part of being a good neighbor. So who is our neighbor and what is Jesus calling us to do is to care for one another. It's that, it's that simple. So you'll find on the website, you'll find Maddie's Godly Play Story. You'll find this book that you can read. And I think um, Flyaway Books has offered permission to read their books during this pandemic. You'll also see some Lego builds. If, can you build this? I would love to see some pictures. So parents, you can email those to me. And also, there's other activities to do on there that you can do kindness rocks or side if it stops raining. Go out and chuck the sidewalk. Go out and chuck a neighbor's sidewalk and just remind, tell them God loves you. There are lots of little things we can do to remind people that they are our neighbors and that God calls us to love our neighbors. All of them. I hope you all have a great week, and we'll see you next week.